Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to Plague Inc. Uh, this time we're going to hop in uh, as uh, more difficult. We're going to set it to brutal, and we're going to try uh, a new type of plague. We're going to do uh, the nanovirus, but y'all can't see that yet. I'm doing a recording of my voice after the fact because um, for some reason when I recorded this this morning, it did not record my voice. I don't know why. Um, but that's okay. Anywho, we're going to do a nanovirus. This one is actually pretty tough. People were asking for it in the comments for other videos. So we're definitely going to show you guys how you can do it. Uh, I've beat it on normal and I've beat it on brutal. Uh, it's It can be tough. It has some difficult little things you can, you can run into, little problems. We're going to go with suppression, which means you can cross land borders. Even if they close the land borders, it can be useful. Um, but then again, if nations have closed their borders, you're just, you're fucked. You're pretty much fucked. Uh, and pathostasis means abilities do not cost any more. They never increase in cost. Very, very, very useful. You save so many points with the pathostasis. But it makes your plague easier to cure. So you got to be careful with pathostasis. All right, come on. Come on, Shen. Come on, Shen from this morning. Click continue. Let's go. I, I don't know what I was blabbering on at the time. I don't know why Fraps didn't record my mic. Ah, whatever. I'm so bad at this, trying to trying to come up with commentary after the fact. It's like, well, what the hell did I say this morning? I don't know. That was, you know, six hours ago. Come on, click continue. Okay, we're going brutal. Yes, brutal. This is quote-unquote hard mode. Uh, not mega brutal. I've never even tried mega brutal yet. I'm sure it's way tougher. Oh, yes. We, we were playing as, was it the plague or something? I don't know. We, we were playing, it was a bioweapon, I think. We were, yeah, O to Twitch. But now we're going to go as a as a... As a, what are they called? Micro robots? What are they called? Nanovirus. We're called Skynet. We're going to start our Skynet nanovirus in Indonesia. Why Indonesia? Well, Indonesia has a pretty good population, 239 million. Um, it's not as easy as starting in perhaps India or China, which have a billion and a quarter population. But 200 million, very good population. You can infect a ton of people in your home nation. Um, and Indonesia has nice traits that you get uh, generic bonuses to. Small bonuses for being hot, rural, and poor. Right? And human. Okay, so the differences for nanoviruses are your ability to um, prevent getting killed right away. So what makes a nanovirus so difficult is at the very beginning the world is already trying to cure you they they know you exist because you're you essentially escaped from a laboratory and they know how to kill you they know exactly how to do it so all they're doing is transmitting a kill code and they're trying to get it to the right location to kill you so if you check out the cure progress it starts at zero percent that is going to jump up so fast it is going to surprise the hell out of you it surprises me every time i play nanovirus it's like whoa why are we losing so fast Skynet begins in Indonesia. Yep, infected its first human. And we are, look at that, the cure progress. It's already going, it's already at 3%. We, all we did was unpause and the cure progress is at 3% already. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I'm sure I was freaking out in the video, but I can freak out just as well, even in a after recording, why not? Uh, Korea is already working on the cure. All we did was unpause, and Korea is already working on the cure. Look at that, they're at 10% already. 10%! We haven't done anything! We haven't done anything, and they're at 10%. So, our abilities here, hack fragments of, cure, of the cure broadcast and disrupt the signal, slowing future broadcast. We're, of course, going to be doing that. Uh, you can do that twice, which will slow the cure progress, but, I mean, you know, it's... We've only infected two people, and they're already... 16% towards the cure. 17, 18, 19, 20% towards the cure. We've only affected three people. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh man, they're already 25% towards the cure. It's tough. Nanovirus, it is, it's a tough uh, scenario. It's not even a scenario. It's a tough level. I guess you call it a level. Especially on Brutal. I wonder if Mega Brutal is even possible. Maybe. All right, get some more DNA points. Good, good. Uh, I think, yeah, well, transmission. We want to get some water and air transmission. That's going to be our strategy. We're not going to go for animals. We're going to go for water and air. 
Uh, writ writers demand site paywall. No, writadors demand. Okay, so a group of writadors, unsatisfied with their working conditions, have put forward a motion to require readers to subscribe to a paywall a community fully supportive, quote unquote. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Oh wow, 50% complete on the cure, and we just now, we just now got our first transmission. First transmission with only 15 people infected, and they're already 50% on the cure. Isn't that insane? Welcome, welcome to nanovirus. It's crazy. It's like, are you kidding me? 63% already. Oh my god. Let's get that air one. Yep, yep. Water one, air one. Good, good way to start. Because that'll infect more ships and planes more easily, right? But I mean, look at that. They're already 71% on the cure. 72%. I, I, I'm still surprised. It, it just blows my mind how fast the cure progress goes. It's like, are you kidding? Are you freaking kidding? Yes, we will need drug resistance. Not just yet, though. Um, wow, 80% already. We're going to have to do one of our special nanovirus abilities. Uh, let's see if we show it off here. We do. It's called Radical Elements. And this will... Uh, it'll get rid of a lot of cure progress. You'll see. It's essentially the same thing as a DNA restructuring, but it's cheaper. So we're going from 91% cure progress to 49. Look at that. Look at that cure progress jump. We got rid of half of their progress. That's amazing. Yeah, Twitch chat's like, why are you doing post commentary? We've already seen this video. It's like, well, yeah, but Fraps didn't record my audio, my microphone the first time, so that's why we're doing it. Yep, we still only infected Indonesia. We've only infected a thousand, two thousand people, uh, but we did slow down their cure progress. Good times, good times. So I mean, we have a we have a, a chance here, right? Rash symptom. Uh, yeah, do we want to keep the rash? I mean, it does increase severity, but it also increases infectivity, and it gets you one step closer to sweating. And sweating is one of the... It's just one of the necessary things every time you need when you play this game, because if you get the eye cure device... Um, oh, look at that. They've already se fully sequenced our, our genome. We're screwed. But yeah, if you get the eye cure device, which happens about half the time, half the times you play the game, um, then you need sweating to prevent eye cure from destroying you. IQ adds, I think, 20 or 25% to the cure progress. It's insane. But if you get sweating, it, it adds zero. So, yeah, it's worth getting sweating. Just waiting for points to come up so we can get water, too. There we go. We had, we had an airplane flight from Borneo to Riyadh. I don't know why the airplane came from Borneo. Um, it looks like it comes from the mountains of Borneo. There's no, there's no one living there. Uh, but whatever. I thought you would go from uh, Jakarta or something. Anyway, water two. There you go. We should see some more spread coming up now that we have more transmissions. Yep, now we're in Southeast Asia. Good times. Good times, good times. Southeast Asia. Yeah, starting in Asia or Africa. Asia and Africa are the two, or even South America is pretty good as well. Are, are, they're the best places to start because they don't have... Uh, rich nations. Rich nations require drug resistance to spread. Uh, even drug resistance one, the spread is slow. You need drug resistance two to really get to the rich nations. See, now we're in Japan. We're going to have to get drug resistance. Um, but that's the benefit of starting in places like Asia, Africa, and South America is they don't require drug resistance to spread. So typically you don't want to start Asia. You typically don't want to start North America or Europe or Oceania. You don't want to start in Australia or the UK or Canada. Not that you can't. I mean, hell, on the um, on the bioweapon stage, we did that from Mexico, and that worked out just fine. But then again, Mexico's not a rich nation, so it worked out fine. Okay, we're in Africa and Australia. Good times, good times. Yep, hello people in Twitch. Hello. What games are we playing? After this, we're going to go do some Novgo Bear in EU4. And then after that, we're going to go to... Um, after that, I have to I have to go. <laughs> I have a commitment after that. So this is only, I think, 25 minutes. So it won't be too long. Okay, so we're now we're going to slow down their cure progress again. We just got the second level of slowing down their cure progress. So it's going to go from 91 down to 64. So the first time went from 91 to 49. This time, only 91 to 64. But... It's still, I believe, it's still the same amount of research that we got rid of. It's just that more people are researching now, so it looks like it's a smaller chunk. Okay, we're going to get cold one. Good times. 
spreading faster in Africa. When we got to one of the hard islands, we got to New Guinea. That's one of the difficult places to get to. There's a few islands in this game where if they if they close their sea borders, you're just screwed because you can't get to those islands anymore. Okay, air two. So we now have water two, air two, cold one, and drugs one. Uh, we're going to go for drugs two, cold two, and extreme bio aerosol. That's going to be our key into spreading throughout the world. We're not doing any animals at all. Uh, animals, they can be good, but we're, we're not going to use them. Okay, we're in Iceland. We're in one of those difficult places. Fantastic. We're in Canada as well. Okay, we're going to need drugs too for Canada, Iceland, and stuff. There's an the extreme bioaerosol. That will spread so quickly through, through like China, India, uh, Africa. It's going to be amazing. Extreme bioaerosol is just fantastic. For places that don't have drugs, it's fantastic. Anemia? That's fine. We'll keep anemia. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot of harm. It adds a tiny bit of severity and a tiny bit of infectivity, uh, but it does branch into more fun things like uh, um, hemorrhaging. That's fun. Oh, we've been discovered. In a normal checkup, a doctor in the Philippines has found a new disease which has been named Skynet. That's har mostly harmless. Yeah, of course it's harmless. All they have right now is a rash and... Uh, Whatever that other one was. <laughs> it's just basically a rash. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're in the Ukraine. Ah, another one of the tough ones. We got to New Zealand. And we're getting drugs too. That is really helpful. Uh, drugs too will help us spread throughout Europe. Uh, North America, Australia, and New Zealand. They're just, it's just almost, if, if you are under this much pressure from the world, this close to the cure, you need drugs too. You have to get drugs too, or you're just not going to spread fast enough. And we could actually do drugs three. That is one of the unique things for um, the nanovirus, is they have the ability to, I, I'm, I'm not even mousing over it right now. We went for cure, res, cure research slowing down, which is fine. We went for the beaker one and beaker two which is genetic hardening one and two. But we could do drugs three. I'm not sure if I do it in this run through. We might. And drugs three is not something you can get from any other uh, vi any, any other plague. It's only the nanovirus that can get drugs three. Right there. Click on it, Shen. There you go. Drug immunity. Increasing infectivity in wealthy countries. And I th yeah, we, we, we did it. Good. And we can now start doing our genetic reshuffles. We'll do one at a time. Once we hit 90%, goes down to 83. So now that so many people are infected, and everyone's freaking out about this plague, uh, the research from the world is just massive. So every time we do a reshuffle, it's going to be less, it's going to be less and less effective. However, we did just get an infected boat to Greenland, and I think that means every nation in the world is sick. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do replication factory overload. This is a one-time event for the uh, nanovirus, which spreads extremely fast it's only it only lasts like two weeks or three weeks or something but during that time period your plague will spread so quickly watch these red splotches all across the world just flood we're starting at three billion people on august 11th let's see how fast we get up there it's been one week two weeks there you go so two weeks of replicator overload, we got we in two weeks we infected an extra two billion people from three billion to five billion. That is so nice, so nice. <laughs> and now look at all those points. We got a ton of of uh, DNA points for infecting all those people. Fantastic. So we can start getting some fun symptoms. Yes, we can get some sneezing. We should probably get pneumonia too, but I, I don't think I do that right away. We're gonna get some insomnia. There you go. Get the Walking Dead symptom or symptom combo, I should say. There we go. We're now in every nation in the world. We finally got Morocco and the Caribbean. Good times. Oh, this is looking good now. They're at 90% though, so we should probably do another reshuffle. Yeah, drugs too just helps so much. Drugs too with bioaerosol is just so good. Brazil's leading the global cure for the effort. Okay, good for you. Let's get our... There you go. Genetic reshuffle too. 91 down to... 85. So it only took off 6% of the cure progress. Just barely a, barely a splash in the bucket, right? Paranoia? Good. Paranoia is great. It means that people who are sick 
will be less likely to go to a hospital to seek uh, help. Could get some inflammation. We want paralysis and coma as well. If we can get inflammation, paralysis, and then coma, we will pretty much stop them even trying to work on the cure. It's fantastic. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to get pneumonia. Pneumonia is very useful in cold climates. So any place like Greenland, Russia, uh, Iceland, Canada, if you're having trouble finishing your spread, then just get pneumonia. It helps a ton in cold areas. I'm going to go for inflammation and uh, paralysis and coma, I think. Oh, no, we actually went for sweating. Oh, probably because eye cure is on the way. I'm always afraid of eye cure. Even if eye cure doesn't happen, because it doesn't always happen. It's just like half the time. Even if it doesn't happen, I'm still paranoid about eye cure. So getting sweating is really good. And it, hel it has a little infectivity as well, so that helps. Helps spread the good word, right? There we go. And I got sweating, and now they announced the eye cure. Good times. Too bad for them that we already have sweating, you know? They didn't know in advance that sweating would damage their devices. But yeah, basically sweating prevents eye cure from doing a damn thing. Get out of here, research bubbles. Get out of here. Uh oh, we're at 90% again. We should probably do another genetic reshuffle. Uh, here I am. I'm worried about West Africa. It's not spreading fast enough. But um, I still think we're going to start killing people soon here. We just hit 10% of West Africa. 10% is usually the critical point. Once you hit 10%, it'll start snowballing faster and faster and faster, the infection, I mean. Okay, genetic reshuffle three. This is the last time that we can slow down the cure. That's the last time we can do it. So we better win from here. We're going from 93% down to 87. We only knocked off 6% of their progress that time. Okay, but yeah, we're flooding West Africa. We're good, we're good. Come on, come on, let's do some symptoms. There we go. Okay, inflammation, yes. No, 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 inflammation. There you go. Do it, Jen. Do it. And then paralysis. Yes. And then coma. Yes. That's how you win. Significantly harder to cure. Both paralysis and coma are significantly harder to cure. And they add a little bit of lethality. So our plague progress, I mean, our cure progress went from 89 down to 83. That's fantastic. It's just like getting another genetic reshuffle. But it also starts killing people, which is good. You want them to start dying. And you can see West Africa is going to be just fine. Um, Caribbean's done. I think everywhere's done except West Africa. Yeah, it's just West Africa. So let's start killing people. Let's get that total organ failure. Nice. Highest lethality of all the normal, all the normal symptoms. Really good, though. Really good. Uh, seizures? Nah, don't bother. Let's get some of the blood stuff. Come on, get some hemorrhagic shock. Internal hemorrhaging. There you go. No, no, internal hemorrhaging. Come on. Internal hemorrhaging. Yes, do it, Shen. Do it. Do it. Yeah, good times. After internal hemorrhaging, you get hemorrhagic shock, which adds like another 10% mortality rate. It's fantastic. And I think we've won at this point. There are so many people dying so quickly. They're at 100 million deaths already. They're dying so quickly that they can't even progress the research for the cure. It's not going to move anymore. Skynet killing very fast. Yes, it is. 300 million dead. The world is fucked. Yeah, if we can get hemorrhagic shock, we'll just kill so much faster. But I don't think we even need it. We're already, we're already, we're, we are definitely going to win at this point. That's a good feeling. In this game, once you reach that point, look at it, there's no one healthy left. Once you reach that point in this game where you know you're going to win, it's a really good feeling. Because it can be tough. Worse than smallpox, says the news. It can be real tough. Uh, especially this nanovirus one. Oh yeah, more news. Botswana removes drug research safeguards. Japan shuts down water supply. Central America removes drug research safeguards. Mexico declares national emergency. Brazil uses mass graves. Peru removes drug research safeguards. Iran sets up trauma centers. Kazakhstan uses mass graves. Mexico puts curfews in place. Poland closes all public buildings. Huh. Closes public buildings. I guess they don't want it to spread, but if everyone's already infected, what's the point of closing public buildings? I don't know. Three billion dead. They're dying so fast. Come on, let's, let's go get hemorrhagic shock. Let's put them out of their misery. Come on, get the hemorrhagic shock, Shen. No, we're not going to do it. I don't remember if we actually get it. But it does help. It adds like 10% more lethality. It's worth getting, but you don't need it. 
They've gone from zero dead to five billion. And they've only progressed 4% on the cure. They're not going to finish it. They're not even going to come close. Uh, there's one last trick up our sleeve as... Uh, oh, now we get the Walking Dead symptom combo. We, we invested in that like a year ago, and now we get the Walking Dead symptom combo. Insomnia and anemia. We had those a long time ago. Ah, whatever. I wish it would pop up right away. Because it slows cure progress. Uh, anywho. Uh, yeah, they're, 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 just, they're just all going to die. But we do have one more trick up our sleeve, and you'll see it at the very, 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 very end. It'll knock the cure progress down quite a bit. Uh, it's a temporary thing. That's why I didn't do it. Um, basically, if you have to use that, you've already lost. So there's no point. Oh, there's only 80 people left. There's 80, 80 million left in the world. 60 million left in the world. They're just dying so so fast. 40 million left in the world. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, world. Twenty million left in the world. Oh, ten million left in the world. Wow. And we have we have a hundred and seven points just chilling because we don't need it. Three million. Here I'm talking about the graphics. I like how the graphics change because it normally shows a pretty you know city graphics from all over the world, uh, and then as you destroy a lot of people. And kill kill everyone. All the graphics change to be nasty. I think I was saying that I wish they showed people running around on fire. Or just like with, you know, bubonic uh, pustules all over them. That'd be hilarious. Kind of gruesome, but this whole game is gruesome anyway. So why not make it even more so? 200,000 people left. 100,000 left. Oh, they're, all, they're just dead. They're so dead. So where are the last people in the world? Well, we'll find out. Five thousand left. Three thousand left. Oh man, two thousand left. One thousand four hundred left. They're in Zimbabwe and Egypt. <laughs> oh, they're all gonna die. Nine hundred and eighty-five left. Ninety-eight. There's ninety-eight people left in the world, and they're in Zimbabwe. All right. So now is when we're going to uh, use our special. Uh, am I even gonna do the trick? I may not even do the trick. I think I do. I don't know why I'm talking about Zimbabwe all of a sudden. I don't know anything about Zimbabwe other than their hyperinflation right now. People walking around with wheelbarrows full of money. Because what else are you going to do with it? All right, here we go. So here's our last special trick. Broadcast Interceptor Overlord. It's a it's a temporary reduction in the cure progress. So we're going to go from 90-something percent down to, I don't know. I mean, it cuts it down by a lot. But it's temporary. So you don't want to, typically you just don't want to do it at all. We're going from 91 down to what? 67. That's a huge drop. Nice. Nice. But yeah, if you it, it goes away after about a month, and then you get all that cure progress immediately resumed. Anyway, that was the micro... Microvirus? Nanovirus. God, I can never remember the name. That was a nanovirus on brutal difficulty. We didn't really get a good score. Um, but... Who cares? Just winning on Brutal is, is tough enough, you know? And, yeah, that was that. My nanovirus called Skynet just wiped out the world in 813 days. Anyway, I'm sorry I had to do the voiceover here. Um, I didn't have another choice. I could go back and re-record it from scratch and just play it again, but I already had the video footage of it, just didn't have my mic, so I'll just do the mic. Uh, anyway, that was that. Look at Indonesia go. Good job, Indonesia. You killed everyone on the planet. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.